Good morning. <laughs> How you doing? Oh, seems like every night's a rough one. I don't know. I got a full fire going on here. Check it out. Nice, huh? Anyway. I said I was going to do another video on supernatural creatures, and I am. But first, I'll talk about you being a supernatural creature. Yes, you are. And part of the... One of the dark darker aspects of this creature that you are is jealousy mm -hmm. I've experienced that so many times before as a young man dealing with beautiful women with goddesses and you're like oh, how do I keep this precious gem right and it's funny because a lot of times women they don't take that as a compliment when you're jealous of them Look at it, it's like, oh, he's needy. He's like, you know, instead of just going, look, woman, you are a fucking jewel. You are like priceless. You are like, the, you know, one in a billion. You know, instead of looking at it like that, they're like, smothering me. It's like, motherfucker, you know. Anywho, I digress, but that is not, a, it's, it's like hate. The hate is a dark, you know, it's a monster energy. So don't feed the monster. Feed the angel. Feed the lover. Feed the lover of the light. Anywho, enough about that creature. Let's talk about a couple of other creatures in my video analysis. <clears throat> what I saw recently was very interesting and it didn't, the reason why I said it didn't make a lot of sense was it looked like it was maybe Philippines, Asia. Um, these guys were protecting their livestock and also, I guess they heard their goats like wailing. So they go out there and there's this thing wrapped around one of the goats underneath it and it was like very fluid like I don't know it's hard to explain like it, it was it was furry and it I don't know it's like I said it was um, it's um, um, Samurai Jack the bad guy in Samurai Jack who's always morphing and transforming I'm just gonna throw that out there that was a cool cartoon by the way but it was kind of like that. Anyways, this thing, and they kept like, trying to get it off the goat. And you could see it at one point where it was underneath the goat, biting the goat. And I was thinking to myself, this thing was not big enough to carry the goat away. So it had to have been doing like some kind of like vampire sucking the blood kind of thing. Anyways, they finally got it off of the goat. And they had, it was nighttime, and they had flashlights. And they were trying to get a beat on this thing. And you saw it slither away, but it didn't slither. It floated on the ground. And it looked like it was half the size of what it was when it was attacking the goat. That's why I say it doesn't make any sense. And it went into the water. And they're chasing it into this water. And they're smacking. One of the guys jumped really into the water. Started smacking it. And I guess it started smacking back. So he jumps out of the water. Yeah, this kind of stuff. So these guys are going after it. Ballsy, right? Because this thing does not make sense. This is not a normal looking creature. So it's in the water floating. You can see it underneath the water barely because it's darker form. And all of a sudden you see it coming up onto the land as they're chasing it off. And it, then it forms into like an actual material creature again. I'm like, Dude, this is not right. But that's, a re it's called, um, it's on a guy's channel called That's Impossible. It's actually one of the latest ones he did. He's, he's a cool guy. He, he likes to talk. That's, you know. Anyway, but you'll see what I'm talking about when you watch this video. But yeah, it's really trippy. And um, enough about that video, which is really bizarre. And yeah, there's stuff out there. But hang on, let me put some more stuff on my fire real quick. I'm like, you might as well watch me do this real quick. And there's another video I want to talk about. Sorry about that. There's another video I want to talk about real quick. And this was a really interesting one. This is the one that I was really... I want to do some research on when post-mortem when like an animal gets hit by a car the eyes gloss over there's a term for it and I remember seeing that one time when I was um, I was working at this farm in Medford and I was riding my bike home in the afternoon and I and the deer was hit on the side of the road and it had the eyes I just noticed the eyes they were glossed over almost like a silver white it's really weird. I was like, huh. Anyway, they just click, you know, I just, you know, tucked that away from memory. And then I saw that video. Basically, it's maybe a minute and a half. It looks like these German reserve kids in the 40s, and they had one of those crank cameras. 
real old school. No, no audio. It's all video. It's all visual. And it looked like they're going on a hunting ex expedition because you don't know what it's all about. You just show them all sitting around a campfire and they're smiling and they're eating and they got their rifles and there's a horse. And so they're hiking up into the mountains. And next thing you know, he shows them all pointing guns in one direction and shooting and blah, blah, blah. And next thing you know, there's this creature on the ground. And the best way to describe this creature would be a werewolf. And the interesting aspects of it when I looked at it, and it showed the camera, you know, showed the creature, showed the face. And yeah, it had short hair. It looked like gray, grayish hair. Really fine, short hair all over the body. It was a female. It had tits, a breast, and the face was super distorted, huge mouth, teeth, and the eyes were glossed over like that deer. So I'm thinking either if it was a new video, you know, that they just kind of manipulated, they, they really knew their, you know, anatomy and stuff, as far as like making sure the eyes were glossed over. This thing was freaky. Anyway, I just thought that was a really bizarre video. You can find it on YouTube. It's you know you gotta use the proper wording like German soldiers you kill werewolf or you know hunt werewolf or whatever you'll you'll see it but yeah very bizarre and try to look up that one with that creature that was eat, trying to eat the goat or suck it dry or whatever that thing was creepy yeah and you could actually see it for a minute like it was just yeah it was the most bizarre thing I was like what the hell am I watching you know because that's half the time you're watching this stuff you're going come on now. Your job is not to just automatically believe, but to dispel it and go. But these guys were serious. And at some point, this one dude climbed up on a rock. Man, I wouldn't, I wouldn't have went after. I was to do that. Let's just stay at the house, stay on the go. Yeah, that thing was not right. So there's supernatural creatures in the world, just like you, and they're not all good. Obviously, this thing is a little creepy, coming out at night and trying to suck your goat's blood dry or whatever. Anyway, <clears throat> creepy stories. Thought you'd like them. There's all there's other ones uh, like I said I've talked about some in the past, and when I was in Montana I talked about you know talked about the moon landing, type of other stuff you know so you can check that out. But like, share, subscribe. <laughs> just, I love saying that because it's just such bullshit. And guess what? YouTube's got new terms and policies coming up. <coughs> Shadow band. But anyway, I love you. God loves you, and the universe is really digging you right now. So there are supernatural things out there, including yourself. Just glow bright. Take that high ground and keep it and do good and think happy thoughts and watch those thoughts come into manifestation. Right? Anyway, I love you. Have a wonderful day. All right. Goodbye.